Hello everyone, Stu Dog here. I know it's been a while, and if you haven't already assumed, yes, I have quit Yu-Gi-Oh! and I wanted to make this long overdue update video explaining why, since I know there are some people out there who are curious. Uh, so yeah, just for some brief history, basically for me, Yu-Gi-Oh! was a great game that I would play in my childhood with the kids in my neighborhood, and in the summer of 2010, that's when I first found out about Yugi Tube and what got me back into the game. And then May 2011, Dueling Network came out, which really kickstarted and inspired me to finally make my YouTube channel since I was able to get the needed practice that I desperately needed at the time to play competitively. And I would say, um, between like the beginning of Yu-Gi-Oh up until the end of 2015, it was like a really, really great game. Minus that one Spillbook of Judgment full power Dragon Ruler format. Uh, but yeah, basically once Duelist Alliance came out, it created a very noticeable power creep that never gotten taken care of. Like it, it never got taken care of. It only got worse, and just everything floated so hard with. Shadal's Burning Abyss, The Teller Knights, even Yang Zing, it just seemed that everything just became so much more immune to regular destruction and back row that had been good for so long. And, you know, I still played after this format, or during this format, and after it a little bit. And um, basically, up until Dimensions of Chaos came out, that was like the, when I officially stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh! competitively, but I still did make videos and stuff. Um, but yeah, for competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! for me, um, basically once Dimensions of Chaos came out, I was just completely done with competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> um, but yeah, but with Dimensions of Chaos, that was really just what really started the whole pendulum domination and it just got just so out of hand there with Bosch came out right afterwards and pendulum just became out of control and the card effects became longer and more complicated and the card text font became smaller to fit um, all the effects inside the, the box and stuff because for some reason Konami thought it was a good idea to have cards have like three, four, or five different effects and there's an emergency ban, li ban list with a whole bunch of new stuff that just came out, which was like the first time in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! I think that that many like new stuff just got hit on a ban list, and YCSs were flooded with nothing but Tier 0, Performo Pal, Pendulum deck, and yeah, it just, I had no desire to play any competitively, you know, once all that happened, and I, I was hopeful when Link Format first got announced, I was hopeful that it would balance out and slow down the game, but that was just not the case at all. It just made it even more comboing and complicated and older decks just had to rely on getting a Link monster to still be playable. And I know recently they had this new Master 5 rule thing come out, which stopped the whole being forced to play Links, you know, play older decks, but the damage has just already been done, you know, it's like whenever I go on Dueling book and view like a top rated game, just it just seem not older stuff being played is still just <laughs> links galore, even in Master Rule 5. So, I mean, I don't know. I, I just I don't even think stun is even possible to play anymore, despite there being more traps off the ban list since everything is just too fast and it seems like back row just doesn't get the job done anymore. And you know, Maxi has been banned for like three years now, which doesn't help and especially with all these break your board dot decks you just really can't compete going second like if you want to play stun based decks and it just it really sucks for me since I've always loved stun and traps and that's what I've liked about Yu-Gi-Oh much more than other card games is just using traps you know I've top aided four regionals in my life and I've also got to top eight at a TCG state championship in 2014 and all five of those decks I played had well over 10 traps in them, and it was Macro Rabbit, Evil Storms twice, Spellbooks, and then Burning Abyss, all in that order. <laughs> and all those decks played more than 15 traps except for the Spellbooks, so yeah. And now, um, I know a new ban list came out a few days ago where 
Harpy's Feather Duster is now finally back, but Heavy Storm is still banned because logic, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I just I just shake my head at present day Yu-Gi-Oh. <sighs> like what 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 happened to Foolish Burial, Dandelion, Summon Debris Dragon, Synchro for Stardust or Trish or Play Solar Recharge, Discard a Wolf, Draw Two, Mill Two, Set a Raiko, Summon a Agent Creation Venus. You know, pay fifteen hundred, summon some shine balls, synchro, or bounce for Gachi in synchro, or bounce for Birdman in synchro, or exceed for Gachi. Or then the stun aspect of just setting a Gear Gear armor and some back row, or playing Black Whirl and summon a Shura, search a Kalut, set a Icarus attack in some back row, or you know, even Evil Storm's Dino Rabbit or Hat, you know. That's the Yu-Gi-Oh I remember playing and loving, you know, not this 10 minute turn, 15 minute turn, pendulum shenanigans, break your board dot deck, or 10 minute turn, link summon, goki shenanigans that I just am not a fan of in any way, shape, or form. And it's like, with Maxi Ban, it's like, really? But... I don't know, I've just been disappointed in Konami and what they've done going forward with Yu-Gi-Oh! They had such a great game and they just ruined it and somehow thought just completely changing the rules of the game and the game board and just countless power creep was a good idea and I'm just not a fan of it at all anymore and on top of this they probably still refuse to do cash tournaments. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't really kept up with the tournament scene but I know the the creator Kazuki Takahashi said like back in like 1996 or something that he never wanted to do cash tournaments and they still keep his word for that even though uh, they just refuse to adapt to the competition of other card games and you know esports in general I'm still refusing to do cash prizes but yeah it's, it's just it's just things like that that Konami has just been stubborn on that I just have not been a fan of. But anyway, um, I just don't see how there's any possible way I can come back and enjoy modern day Yu-Gi-Oh anymore unless Kunavi decides to just scrap everything, restart the game, do set rotation possibly. But realistically, that's most likely never going to happen. And, you know, I haven't even begun to talk about just how many of my friends I've met through YouTube and Dueling Network over the years that have quit before I did. and. Uh, even before I took my two or my hiatus two years ago, my channel wasn't really going anywhere, you know, despite despite still making consistent videos, you know, I was able to grow in previous years, but 2017 was a terrible year for my channel comparing it to 2014, 15, or 16. And it was really difficult for me to stay motivated, especially during that time where DN got shut down and we had no DN or dueling book for eight months and that was just a very rough time for me, my channel, and my interest for Yu-Gi-Oh! in general and just so many people that I spoken with quit during that time and it just it really sucked. And then when Dueling Book did come out, I did enjoy playing Paleo Frogs for a little bit, even though Zodiac was still like pretty much tier 0 or tier 0.5, it was just pure cancer back then, and then right around the corner, Lynx began to dominate with Spirals and Pendulums with Electromite and Sky Strikers and Goki, and there's probably a whole lot of other things I'm forgetting as well, but at that point, I really just had enough with the game, and during the past two years, nothing has been done by Konami that has really made me want to come back to modern day Yu-Gi-Oh at all, unfortunately. Like, I have no idea what the top decks are, but like I said previously, just from observing a few games here and there on one of my lurking dueling book accounts, I just have not liked what I've seen, you know. I love the synchro and exceed mechanic, but pendulums and links, I was just not a fan of at all. And, you know, when pendulums first came out, they were not that good outside of, like, Klee's, and Klee's was... Kind of a more stun based deck. I mean, I wasn't the biggest fan of Klee's, but I was able to tolerate Klee's. Uh, but then it just took a turn for a worse as Pendulums got more supported. And <sighs> Lynx, in theory, was a decent idea, but it ended up just making things worse for the game overall, in my opinion. And just where I 
think Yu-Gi-Oh went wrong was just with pendulums and just their initial just com just changing the rules of the of an already established game after like 10 years just completely changing you know the rules changing the game board changing the first turn draw changing the field spell rule I just I just don't like just completely changing rules out of nowhere of an already established game <sighs> I mean pendulums it could have been could have been a lot better if they just didn't allow you to summon like all this stuff from the extra deck for free and you know links honestly should have just never been created in my personal opinion and in general instead of just creating links they should have just noticed how bad the power creeps started to get in duelist alliance and started containing it and learning their lesson from it but that never happened they never learned their lesson and it just got worse and worse and worse and now like Six years later, Yu-Gi-Oh! doesn't even feel like Yu-Gi-Oh! at all anymore. It's just a completely different game that I have no desire or interest to play. So what does this mean going forward for the StewDog8 YouTube channel? Well, I have no intentions of growing this channel anymore, no intentions of reaching a specific subscriber goal of, you know, 10,000 or 20,000 subs. I have no intentions of going off a strict upload schedule anymore. I don't want to delete this channel or say I'm never going to make any videos again, but if I do, it would specifically be tailored towards retro Yu-Gi-Oh gameplay and maybe some Hearthstone content, uh, maybe other things here and there, I don't really know, so I just want to get this out of the way, like if you are here and expect any more modern day Yu-Gi-Oh content, I'm sorry, but that is just not going to be happening. And I thank you for sticking with me and finding some of my content in previous years entertaining enough to subscribe. I know the low rated duelist segment was something a lot of people liked and I guess I would be open to trying to find more of those type of games on Dueling Book but for those I use the traditional section to find most of the games and I know that Dueling Book updated their website and now hardly anyone plays in traditional anymore since it's all pushed off to the side. And it would be kind of hypocritical for me to, to do that, being completely out of the game for over two years, since I'm basically a low-rated duelist these days. I mean, I still have all the old format card effects memorized, but if I try to find LRD games, it would have to be tailored towards more old-school Yu-Gi-Oh, probably. But anyway, if anyone would want to play in older formats, like with Agents or Plant Synchro or x sabers or dino rabbit chaos dragons even goat foot <clears throat> goat format hat format um feel free to comment on this video or pm me on youtube or dueling book and i can record some games and relive the memories and try to have a, some fun with that I, I really don't want to start from scratch with a brand new channel since i already have this one which is established i know that at, at this point, I will not be able to please everyone, but at the end of the day, it's it's my channel that I worked hard to grow throughout the 2010s, and I would rather have some people enjoy whatever content I produce than have no one watch whatsoever on a brand new channel. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you all for watching. I hope this video did a good job explaining everything, and... If this is the last ever video you watch for me, I thank you for subscribing and enjoying some of my videos in the past. And whatever comes from here, we'll just have to wait and see. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone.